The first thing I wanted to know about this pack was how much of my gear it was going to be able to hold. To me, that is one of the most important questions of any pack I use. Will I be able to take all or at least most of my gear with me? And even more importantly, will I be able to take all of my lenses? I travel with three lenses every time I go out. I have my wide angle 1635, a medium zoom 2470, which also happens to be my workhorse lens, and my telephoto 70 to 200. I have invested a lot of money in these lenses and I want to take them with me. I have had packs in the past that could not safely transport this trinity. For me, that becomes a huge downfall of any pack. I have established my must-take gear, which are these three lenses and my body. If the pack I am considering cannot fit them, then it's an automatic no-go. The flip side, 450 meets my demands effortlessly. I not only have my trinity and camera body in this pack, but I even had room for a few extras in the main carry compartment. I was able to fit one of my 600 EXRT speed lights and the transmitter for it, my camera charger, gels, and gel holder for my speed light. I was very impressed. Now as for the top compartment, I put some cables in the mesh pocket and a nice size jack in the large compartment. In the front pack pocket, I put my laptop, my phone, flashlight trigger, release, and other such odds and ends that I take with me. The front hip pockets, I placed some cleaning cloths and a filter. I was very excited to see this pack able to accept my full-size tripod. I always opt to take this one with me if the pack can support it, and it does. Additionally, I packed a water bottle and a camping chair in each of the side pockets. I was surprised to find out that this pack took nearly every piece of gear that I have inside my large Low Pro Pro Trekker 450 pack. Total space score for this low pro flip side Trek 450 AW is a solid 5 out of 5. Most of you are already familiar with the low pro brand and their quality. They're a good pack manufacturer. I've had several of their packs over the 10 years I've been doing photography, and I can tell you that they last. They obviously think so as well, since they do offer a lifetime warranty against manufacturer defects. This pack appears to be no different. All the materials used are solid. The stitching is a nice gauge and heavy duty, and everything from the nylon shell to the straps to the side mesh pocket to the buckles are all well made. Speaking of buckles, because of an unfamiliar design, I wanted to be sure to do multiple sessions of repeated buckling and unbuckling, um, and I'm left with the impression they are a quality design and they will work well enough for their intended use. Now the grab handles on my packs pull double duty. I use it to carry my pack, yes, but I also use it to stabilize my tripod, especially in windy conditions. It is important that this strap is made to last. The last thing anyone would want is to have the strap break and have their gear come crashing down from five and a half feet up. This handle can go the distance. Quality score is four out of five. Overall, the comfort on this pack was decent, but it could be improved. This pack was built for sustained moisture and sweat resistance, which is a welcome feature for any hiker. The back padding features nice, deep, ribbed, cushy foam, and the hip straps have a similar take on the foam implants as well. The shoulder straps are ergonomic and just the right amount of thickness. I would have preferred to see a higher quality EVA foam used there, though. With all the test gear loaded into this pack, it weighed in at a hefty 26 pounds, and an internal frame would have been a nice touch to help mold the pack to my back. With it being fully loaded, the pack was irregular while I was wearing it, and it bulged on one side where my lens was resting against my kidney. For an extended four plus hour hike, I am sure it would have become a nuisance. However, once the pack was emptied a bit, it had a great fit and fill. For a serious hiker, that might be a problem. However, for the rest of us, it should be fine. I rate the comfort as slightly better than average, three out of five. Versatility is a main feature of this pack. It is marketed directly at the group of people that want to carry the camera gear, but also some extras. You could easily pack lunch, a bird watching journal, and a pair of binoculars. The top pocket is a welcome feature on this bag. It is quite large and it offers an extra level to this pack. I tested it out by putting my ski shell in it and it fit perfectly. It is padded on the bottom so even delicate things could go inside, but keep in mind though that it will be bouncing around because there is no way to secure the items down inside that pocket. However, just having a large upper pocket is going to appeal to a lot of people. Although there is a dedicated tablet pocket that will fit either an 8 inch or 10 inch tablet depending on which size bag you get from Lowepro, it is just a tad too small to be able to carry my laptop. I wish it was just a little bit bigger. 
An additional feature of this pack are the side stretch pockets. I stash my water bottle, of course, because these pockets are accommodating and a breeze to use no matter the size or shape of your water container. The stretch pockets can be used for more than just carrying liquids, though. I like to take my camping chair with me. The chair is designed to collapse into a small pouch and weighs one pound. The side pocket on this pack is perfect place for this chair. Now just a small tangent about this chair, I searched all over for a quality compact lightweight chair that I can take with me on my photography hikes and I'm really happy to have a spot for it on this pack. I was a little worried at first about getting a chair designed like this because I thought I would end up breaking it, but after two years it has held up admirably and I'm really glad I made the investment. I would highly recommend this chair for all you hikers, campers, or anyone out there that has limited space. I love it so much I think everyone should own one and I'm going to put a link in the description below. Both hip straps feature an easy access pocket. You can use them to stow various small items that you might need at the ready. When I use this pack in the rain, I put a drying cloth in one of the pockets so that I could spot dry my lens. Other things I have stowed in these pockets have been items like my spirit level, a remote shutter release, and trail mix or sunflower seeds. Really, anything that you might need to frequently attach to your camera or get access to is a great use for these pockets. But my favorite item to pack in these pockets would have to be my lens filters. Whether they are my ND, grad, UV, or polarizer, these pockets have become my go-to area for my filters. Versatility for this pack scores a 4 out of 5. Execution is a test to see how well the manufacturer's features actually worked in the real world. Now the list of features I put to the test were the tripod storage, hinged lid, active zone suspension, and of course their flip side body access. Now the fact that there is even a method of attaching a tripod is already a huge win. I reviewed Low Pro's Photosport 350 and there was absolutely nowhere you could put a tripod. I was so annoyed about that. On this flip side though, you actually have a couple of ways you can carry a tripod. You could lash it onto the side and put two feet in the stretch pocket and strap it down. But in all my testing, this method is best reserved for the smaller ones. My full length tripod is 22 inches collapsed and it just overmatches a side pocket. It's not a great way to carry a full length tripod. The other way of carrying a tripod is on the back of the pack, which is the only plausible method for the large ones. The tripod rode on the pack largely unnoticed, which is a really good thing. The pack is compact enough that even my four pound tripod was not too far off centered. Even with the leg out, I really didn't notice the tripod while walking around. The hinged lid is a nice feature. It allows you to open the back panel just a little bit to grab something small or all the way to grab something large. I found it extremely helpful for a few scenarios. See, I like to hook my pack onto my tripod to weigh it down and I found that if I faced the back panel towards me, I could easily switch between lenses and only open up the top portion of the pack. This was like having an extra set of hands holding up my pack while I got what I needed. I was not afraid that any heavy gear might have shifted and was leaning against the access door, and then it would continue to unzip like a traditional non-hinged door might, spilling my gear on the ground. Overall, I found this feature quite useful. Active zone suspension is Low Pro's fancy way of saying we pad the back. In reality, all packs have padding. There is nothing really special here. It's padding. It isn't obtrusive, but it did not completely pad all objects in the camera compartment when it was fully loaded. The final feature I would like to talk about is the feature in which this pack was named after. It's called flip side because if you have the pack buckled across your waist, with the hip straps, then theoretically you can spin the pack all the way around your hips and get access to your gear without having to take the pack off or set it on the ground. In theory, this sounds like a winning idea. It should save time and keep your pack clean. So I naturally have to put this feature to the test. Right off the bat, I noted that it was particularly difficult to have the hip straps nice and secure and also have the slack needed to spin the bag around. I found it very cumbersome to spin the pack around on my hips. The next thing I noted was that if the zippers were at the bottom of either side, that they would get tucked between your stomach and the pack, and it was difficult to retrieve them. Once you had the pack unzipped, the compartment door needed to be held open so that you could see what you were grabbing. After you got the gear you were looking for, you were obliged to zip it back up before you spun it back around. Then you had to repeat the entire process to put the camera back. 
Conversely, when placing the bag on the ground, it was a natural and smooth motion to unbuckle my chest and hip straps, place the pack on the ground, unzip the camera compartment, the door stays open, grab your camera, take your photo, put the camera back, zip up, and you're on the way. Using the spin method costs time and it's cumbersome. I have seen images of people conveniently changing a lens with water up to their knees using the spin method, but honestly, I would never open any zipper directly over water. If something shifted, you risk it falling into the water. If you really are worried about getting your pack dirty, then put your rainfly on. You can place the pack on any wet or dry surface and still have access to all your gear without having to remove the rainfly. With all that said, this is not a reason to avoid this bag, just don't purchase it solely because of this feature. I rate the execution of all the features on this pack, 3 out of 5. For the final section, I'm going to look at the overall design of this pack. To start, the color is a really well done two-tone desaturated green. It looks really sharp. The pack itself is compact and you wouldn't expect it to have a ton of space, but it's quite deceptive in that aspect. This pack would easily fit in an overhead compartment for airline travel and possibly even on the floor in front of your airline seat depending on how much gear you're bringing along. Another benefit of it being so compact is that I never found it too far off center while I was walking around, even when I had gear hanging off of it. The pockets are well thought out and there are a lot of storage options for equipment that photographers would need to carry with them. The hip and chest straps are a welcome addition as those features go a long way for extended carrying. One of my favorite design features are the little elastic bands that are on the straps so that you can neatly tuck away the excess out of sight. The design is stylish, functional, and well thought out. I give it 4 out of 5. This Low Pro flip side track is a winning formula that most photographers are going to love. It is quality made, spacious, and versatile. The overall score for this pack is respectable, 23 out of 30 and it easily becomes one of my go-to packs. If you found this video helpful, please consider hitting that thumbs up button, or better yet, share it with your friends, your family, and your peers. If you're a photographer or a traveler, I promise to make more videos, so subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any future installments. Thank you for watching my video today. I really appreciate it.